energy psychics of Washington and Third Eye. Okay? Now, psychical research was recognized as a science in 1969 with the American Association for the Advancement of Science accepted the Parapsychological Association as an affiliated organization. So, when we go psychic, pag tulong tayo, kaya kapag gusto ng, ng timon ang takihin tayo, usually he will wait until we fall asleep. Kaya marami, uh, they, they, they have what we call uh, the hot attack or yung pinapagulot madala, especially mga sensitive. So, ano ba, sensitive ako, natulog ko sa isang lugar, na marami mga sightings. Baka katabi ng kwarto ko, isang malaking balay at rin. Okay? Medyo sensitive ako. And I go to sleep. Sabi yun, pag sinasakal na ako, hindi ako magkalaan. Okay? That is what St. Thomas calls an incubus attack. Or a succubus attack. Okay? Incubus, kapag ina-attacky ay feeling. Okay? Yung succubus, if it's a male, who is being attacked sexually. Okay, so this is one of the ways where Satan attacks a person. Para pagkisi niya pagod siya, he cannot perform, fulfill yung kanyang mga tukulin. Okay? So, in sleep, when we fall asleep, we become very sensitive. psychic. Okay? We become more sensitive. Kaya natin yung mga religious, usually yung magamit sila ng holy water bago matulog. Hindi dahil pwede sila magkasala. You cannot sleep when you're asleep, tama? But you can be harassed by the demons. That's why they use holy water. Okay? Pangalawa, pag mamatay na tayo, when the body is weakened, it lumalakas yung psychic ability ng tao. Because the body, that is a compensation. At kapag naman matay na isang lamp, isang minamahal mo sa buhay, make sure you have holy water. Because you will start to see all kinds of entities around him. Okay? And that's why it's very important. We have, I know, no? We have a condition, no? Lako, kaya, no? Pagmamatay yung namamatay ng lola ko, they would use, they would, they would use holy water. That is part of our tradition. We use holy water when a person is near death. Sabi ng St. Faustina, okay, that holy water is of great help to the dying because that is also the last time that a person will be attacked by Satan. At alam ni Satanas na bukas na ang kanyang third eye. Nakakita na niya siya. Okay. Pagbata pa yung isang tao, okay, you should be children are very sensitive to the spiritual. Why? Because when you are young, your right brain is more developed than the left brain. Okay? Kaya ang mga bata, madaling makikita yan ng mga spirito. Pero pag tumatanda na yan, the left brain becomes more developed, uh, the person loses the psychic ability. Okay? Now, kaya kung inag kayo, kung may anak kayo, palagi nag-iisa, at may imaginary friend. Okay? That, that is how contamination begins. Pag tandaan ng bata niya, maraming problema sa buhay yan. Hindi niya alam because when the per- nung bata siya, kaya naman siya naging kaibigan na duwende. So may itong pagkarapatan na para kumapit sa kanya. Kung tumanda na siya, nakalimutan na niya yan, but actually it's not. It has been, been given permission. So don't leave a child alone without any play. It's later on, talaga ko, eh, kalang yung parang cute naman na may parang kalaro siya. Playing by himself. May pangalan pa yung kanyang kalaro. Hindi ko alam, sorry, actually, ha? For an angel. Who is mimicking as a child or as a little person. Well, then. Para yung mga aliens na pag nagpapakita, ganyan, maliligin sila ng mga yung kanilang uh, uh, taas. Okay? So, <coughs> so, is it good to develop your psychic abilities? The church stand is no. And why? You don't need that to become holy. That's why, if you are an exorcist, at bukas yung third eye mo pakay ka na. Because you will have so many, the devil can harass you so much, and hurt you so much, through so many kind of harassments, that you will give up. Okay? That's why be very, very careful. If, for example, it is natural sa'yo, no problem, consecrate to the Lord. But for example, if you don't the third eye mo, Okay? Through the apoh or through exercises or activities mula sa Eastern religion, then be very careful. You are opening now a doorway to the evil one. Okay? Kaya the big, the big lie is that pag pinuksan yung third eye mo, give yan. You can use that to get what you want. You're ready. You are God. You are potential God. You have those powers. 
You don't need to pray. Just develop those abilities. That is the big lie. Kasi pag binuksan mo na yan, then the devil sabi ni, there's an uncovering temperate. Do you know who she is? Di ba napanood niyo ba yung the passion of Christ? Okay, she's the... Doon galing sa kanyang visions, no? Yung palabas na yan, galing sa kanyang visions yan, right? When one becomes psychic, then one of man's faculties possessed before the fall, it is with dati, lahat tayo psychic. But in other than people psychic, then international powers. A faculty not entirely extinct is in a certain measure resuscitated, and the person lies helpless in a most mysterious state. Exposed to the, to the attacks of the evil one. This state really exists, but it is veiled because it is a poison source for all but the saints. Okay, so this is the teaching of the church. That's why in any kind of prayer workshop, never be the in third time. Kaya be careful kapag may kasi may mga new age na pumapasok sa ating simpahan. Okay? So be very careful of that. They are getting that from other religions. Okay? Because in other religions, as I mentioned, they are still pagan. Marami silang mga Diyos Diyosa. And in order for you to be able to communicate with this God, so you have to open your third eye. Okay? But for us, we only use prayer. Okay? Kaya be very careful kapag may mga programs, prayer workshops na putting you into a trance state, putting you in a very relaxed, hypnotic state, on alters, alternative, alternate state of consciousness. Okay? So, if you are then you will start, the devil can now start to harass you. You, will, you may be able to see him, hear him, you will feel always depressed, lonely, but you will not be able to see him. So, anatomy of how does a person get possessed? So, this is a how-to. If you want to be possessed, this is the way. Okay? <laughs> okay. So, this is some of our cases. No? We have hundreds and thousands of cases. And most of this is the same uh, dynamics, right? The tao, the kanyang lolo, was a magpagpulario, malakas ang pulario, spiritista. Habang lumalaki yung bata, okay, uh, usually their blood, blood rituals, good birth, ano ba yung birthday ng bata, nangyalagyan ng dugo, okay, at least there is a consecration to the familial spirit, okay, because each family in, in, uh, in uh, paganism has a, what we call an ancestral spirit, or a spirit guide protecting down the family, okay. Tapos habang bata, siya may imaginary friend siya, and then, sa bahay nila, dahil yung plano ng maraming mga ritual na ginagawa, dumami na umatuti, unti, dumadami yung mga inkanto sa bahay, okay? And may mga halalas na mga duwende, okay? Tapos meron sila mga uh, uh, Buddha worship, they have figures there that are of other gods, okay? They have pagan rituals, nagpapatubo sila regularly around the house, okay? <coughs> then, habang high school, uh, elementary na yung bata, Palagi siya ginagala sa mga uh, healers, fortune tellers, sorcerers. When he was in high school, nag-spirit in the class, under a collected tree to communicate, para to go uh, uh, para to usapin yung spirit doon. Right? Kung sila yung spirit na yan, right? nag-ghost hunting. Right? Tapos, little by little, pumasok sa new age, di-develop yung kanyang psychic abilities yung kanyang mga energies, right? right? They have all these uh, ways to uh, breathing and vibration to, in order to open up the third eye. At kaling sa yung bata, no prayer life, no confession, no grace in the soul, walang sacramentals. It's just a matter of time that a person will get possessed. Dito pala, obsession na nabubusa na yan. Oppression usually starts here. And the person will have so, so, so many sicknesses that they cannot uh, even diagnose. Right? So many, parang buhay niya puro malas. Right? And 
God has allowed that. God has allowed uh, these burdens, these crosses that are burdensome that will not destroy us. So now, if, if the person builds up this number of spirits through continual contamination, una 5% in the dominant spirit. Tapos dumadating 40% in dominant spirit sa tao. Umabatong-pato lang sila, no? Nagiging 60% doon na nagsistart yung obsession. Okay? Pagdating ng 80% ng pressure starts, and, pag 100%, puno na yung spirit o mga spirit, so may legion na sila, the person gets possessed. Okay? So now, if for example, okay, if I were to do an exorcism over this group, and some of you have 40% spirits already attached to you, may mag-react sa inyo. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that, what do you mean? They will, kaya nga minsan sa LSS. Okay? LSS, that's not yet an exorcism even. Huh? There are some people who go there na napakarami mag- very contaminated with so many spirits, and then akong activities. Kaya LSS pala mag-react na, okay? Namalo, nag-react yung mga spirito. But an exorcist can draw out a spirit from a person even in 40% uh, contamination or damage ng spirito sa, 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 sa kanyang kapasidad. Okay? Now, if I were to use a deliverance prayer, okay? for example, kung tatayo sa isang pare, he just use, it is not an exorcist, but he uses what we call prayers of liberation or uh, what we call uh, deliverance prayers or minor exorcisms, then usually, mag-react yung pag-80% na yung dami ng mga spirito na nakakapit sa trap. So, a person does not get possessed right away. Unless there is a build-up of the spirit throughout time. Kaya kapag halimbawa, may na-possess na bata, after we pray over the person, we have to ask the history. Because in lahat ng mga pintuan ang binuksan niya, at kung paano nakapasok yung spirito, we have to close them all using the sacraments and sacramentals para permanent yung healing. Para permanent yung healing. So you can notice, right? Okay. What Father did then na one of my professors in exorcism in the room. Sabi niya, he worked uh, as a lecturer for the course of exorcism at the Pontifical University in the Gina Pascolorum and had a and had worked with the Sacra Romana Rota as top tribunal, no? para yung Judiciary in the Vatican, in the Vatican, he published a doctoral thesis on exorcism. He stated that this has been going to the accord again and again, that they are beginning to madami and to madami yung mga spirit at kumapatong sa nila, and they are gaining more and more power where they are strong enough and many enough they can depossess. Okay? Depossess the person. That's why usually kapag here are some examples of oppression and obsession. Kapag yung isang tao ay binuksan yung kanyang third eye, up, sensitive na siya, at pumasok siya sa home. Okay? For example, you will start to see in this eye is frightening apparitions. Okay? Nabigla you will see demonic figures. Na dati hindi naman nakikita. Bago gising siya, especially yung uh, you're about to sleep or you're just waking up, you're very excited then, suddenly you see a demon there. Okay? Or the ears, when you start to hear voices, recited voices that dati wala naman. And all you did was, you did spirit of the glass. And you, you, you entered into an occult activity. Or touch, right? Bigla, okay? If you are under oppression or obsession, usually there are bruises that appear on the body. Bago gisi ka, marami ka. Okay? Parang, uh, parang pinubog ka, okay? We have cases that we pray over the person habang we pray over the pinubog ng demonyo from within. Okay, so lumalabas sa mga pasok. Okay, pasasang ba? Or sa patawan. There are pains, internal movements, sexual harassments. We have cases of they are being raped even, not asleep, even awake. Because they may, they even, parang they agree to get married with the duendes. Ginawa sila ng prinsesa, no? and they agree to that. Okay? So later on, yeah, the spirits had so much power to do anything with the person. Okay, these are all stories that we have to read in the And so I have to validate them with my readings in church history. I have to go back to the saints and writings of the monks. And it's true. Ito rin yung my experience in the Middle Ages. 
Doon ang makalakas na yung beach track. Okay? But now I see it with my own eyes. And nakaawa, no? So at least you cannot do it that much. Sa dami ng mga kaso, you cannot really handle everyone. Okay? So I, 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 it's always better to warn the person. Kasi pag nandun na sa loob, napak, and napakahirap mga lahat ng pare, you can understand what, what this is. Because even if ako mismo in theology, I never heard the word demon. It's, we had no demonology. We didn't talk about the devil. We talked as morals, panong ko, homiletics, etc. But nothing about demonology. Ngayon lang kung may lumalabas yung kurso on demonology in the Vatican part. That's why, uh, that's why many people ayaw kong pumunta rin sa pare because hindi sila nagtitigilan. Okay? Ay, ikaw, siguro hindi ka lang kumain yan, no? You know, uh, punta lang sa tulog, okay? Punta lang sa, there's one place, punta lang sa Antolario, no? Imagine that. It's like Jesus saying, it's like Jesus saying, uh, or St. Paul saying, you know, go to Simon Marcos, the magician there, no? Or St. Paul saying, go to Pitonisa, the soup center, right? Okay? And they, and, and they don't know that it is Christ is the, is the true healer and true exorcist. And the power is to grant to the church. Kaya, no? It's just because we, don't, we were not trained for this. So, iba lang tumatakbo sa simbahan, mas hindi mo pagkatawalan sila or whatever. They will not be understood. So, at least when they go to the albularis, etc., they are given some form of explanation. Right? This has been going on even with our ancestors. The problem is, katoliko na tayo, dapat alam na natin mga to. Smells, not that they would smell foul odors, especially in certain places when they use holy water, biglang na ma may masamang amoy. Uh, Emotions, sadly, for no reason at all, depression, anger, fears. Imagination, sadly, there are demonic images that sadly come during prayer. Superimpositions, that means pagkitignan niya yung isang puno, biglang may makita siyang mukha ng demonyo niya. Dati wala naman. Sexual and blasphemous uh, images, right? And uh, what is very important thing is that uh, this this is to come when the person is getting closer to the Lord, but he doesn't realize that uh, he decides to get close to the Lord, but many times, uh, dahil sa dami ng mga contamination, madali siyang harasin ng ganda. We have many cases of sisters who are attacked this way. Okay? They enter the convent as they get closer and closer to the Lord, especially they're about to make their vows. Ito yung mga klase ng attacks nila. Magugulang kayo, no? you don't hear about them. No one talks about them. But when we give talks, that's the time that they open up. Father, kaya pala, ganito nangyayari sa atin. We don't understand what's happening. And then I ask them, why does the devil has, why does the devil have that power over you? Bakit kaya ka ng harasin ganito? Then, you see the history. Itong bata pala, saan-saan niyadala. Okay? So imagine, uh, Especially as you get closer to the Lord, you will see so many obstacles because these are not the contaminations that you can have done para hindi ka makalapit sa Diyos. That's when you discover the bandages that have been formed. The memory, suddenly you keep on remembering yung mga sugat mo sa buhay, yung mga uh, naging taksil sa'yo, no? those who hurt you, okay? The day you can draw, what is it, what, what can you see the memory, remember that, ha? Huh? My dear brothers and sisters, the devil knows what is in your memory and he can draw it out. Okay? I think they taught us that in Rome. That's why we have to purify our memory. We have to forgive people. Okay? Because if it is there, the devil can easily stimulate what is there in us. Especially in our lower faculties. That's why the number one black town in Rome, Pauli Pulit, it was told to us again and again, when there is a person who cannot forgive, you cannot exercise him. It is impossible, 100% impossible. It has never been successful. It has never worked. And actually, she's been telling us that again and again. Because sometimes when we pray over the person, papalik palik yung mga spirito, ayon ko list, we check that there is hatred there. And the devil gains hatred. <coughs> Good. Good, right? Kung may nagagaya, we're doing the will of God. Right? I want to say that. Uh, so if the, the devil enters to be a goal, but he gains power through sin, especially in threat. Okay? He gets the power to remain. Kaya niyang 
he can uh, kaya niyang uh, maging obstate, kaya niyang uh, manahan dyan, okay? maging matigas dyan because of sin, especially anger. Okay? Mental, sa ating para paranoia, okay? Uh, doubts regarding the faith na dati you were very, you were very, uh, you had a lot of faith in God, biglang sa ating, Okay, you have all these doubts after you did an account activity. Spiritual, there is dryness in prayer. There is sloth, spiritual desolation, and that's what I'm saying. Hell, suddenly there is deterioration in hell, and the doctors cannot even diagnose, or they cannot even, medicines do not work. There is non diagnosis. The person always feels heavy, drain, erratic blood pressure, paraterpaba, tumors, big accidents. These are some of the. Uh, some of the attacks no, that were that were uh, that people experienced no, opened themselves up to the demonic right? sleep, night terrors, easy sleep, insomnia, relationships, divisions, the devil will always break and divide relationships, deterioration of relationships, so work, drop, and failure in business, and that it in time to pass on sa negosyo, sa business, tapos biglaan, wala na, right? Sabi, there's a curse that will be placed there. Okay? That's why, if you notice, know, this is how, these are our statistics in the office, no? In the number of years, ito'y nakita namin breakdown. The majority is oppression, possession is really 15%, infestation 21%, obsession 9%. Ten minutes more. Okay. Infestation, okay, I mentioned is when the attack is on an animal, a thing, or a place. A haunted house would fall under the term infestation if the cause is proven to be demonic in origin. For example, sa isang bahay, usually, as, ano yung pinaka-infest ng mga lugar sa isang bahay? Usually, pag may mga basements kayo, mga toilets, doon yung palagi, usually that is where they prefer. Kung halimbawa yung kwarto ninyo, nasa, usually, nasa corner, usually that is the most infest, infested place. Or, for example, mayroon kayong uh, malaking puno sa labas ng bintana ninyo ay, na maraming mga sensitives na nakikita mo yung mga capri doon or whatever, no? Then, uh, you should be room beside it to be infested. Okay? So, uh, and, for example, they, there is a river, may ilong dyan, malapit, for the uh, water elementals. That means it's like fallen, uh, fallen angels attached to, them, to, to water. They attack whatever room is nearby, right? That's why they use sacramentals. And so the early church always used sacramentals and exercise homes, not only blessed homes, exercise them, exercise trees, etc. Exercise objects of nature. Because the devil can attach anywhere. So now, what are some of the assignments that we give the person to be free from uh, the, the demonic attack? Eh? Oppression, obsession, and even possession. Usually, if I like summarize it, these are the three basic openings where you open the doorway to the evil one, the occult. Okay? Either we are contaminated or we are victimized by an occult practitioner. Usually, what exorcist does, he, he cuts the curse and consecrations. I remember one case that talaga, kain siya ng kain, pero what? He was getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Parang kalansay na siya. He was sick. He's eating even more and more. Well, he was given a few dead curse. No? It's a waste. It's a, it's a black magic. Okay? Why uh, yung tayo niyang kapitbahay? No? So what we did was, I had to... Uh, uh, we had to exercise him. Right? And then we protected him with Mamtru, uh, having a devotion to Mama Mary. Okay? And then suddenly, okay, uh, it was like getting stopped. Pero yung tao na nagpagala na kulang, okay? Palagi ng ikot sa back around his house, started to be the one getting thinner and thinner. And between, within the week, namatay. Namatay. That means, if you set a curse, and the person is protected by God, the curse returns to the center. Because a, de a demon that you seek, that you make a pact with and you set, na tala mo, kapag protectan yung tao, it will always look for the next, the easiest, the nearest victim. And the, easy, and the, the nearest, usually, okay, is the person na pinadala. Kaya yung mga magkukulang, mga babala, hindi lang kasi masakit ng kukulang ng babala, they check the spiritual life ng tao. Pag nakita nila that you are not close to God, you are not in the state of grace, you are not using the sacramentals, you are not going to mass, you are 
don't go to confession, etc. You have no relation to the Lord. You're not protected by Mama Mary. Then they will send a curse. Okay? Then Allah will infect. Okay? They will not. They will not send you. They see that you're protected. Or else Allah will not bless you. Curse. Okay. So the exorcist stops the curses, consecrations. Okay. But the person be a pact. Okay. Uh, the, the the person has to renounce and confess also the victim. No? Okay. Of snake sinful lifestyle, of course, confession and conversion of life. Psychically open, usually we ask the person, pag nabuksan yung third eye niya, o naturally open, we ask him to offer or to pray for it. Kapag pinagsan niya, kundi at all, he renounces it para mag-isa raw ulit. Okay? So, usually, before even the case starts, because if you're going to confront, if you're going to confront an evil spirit, papunta pa lamang sa opisyon niya namin na pinaharas na yun, right? You should have an accident in the sinner or whatever. So all these accidents are the other. So even before uh, we begin to even interview, we ask the person to go to mass, offer the mass for protection. Because the devil will not just go. He will, he will fight for his territory. Okay? And therefore, uh, he, ha he will harass the person so that he will not turn to the church. Because before it becomes better, it will always become worse first. Okay? Kasi halimbawa, no? ang napakatagal na, I have cancer, and this cancer I'm allowed to, to, to reach stage 4, to be healed. Okay? Before I become better, through, I will have to suffer a lot first. Okay? So the devil, magaling siya, he puts so many, unti-unti lumalakas siya tayo ka pangalim, but he doesn't show himself. Hindi niya, hindi niya biglang atakilin ka or else makikupap sa simbahan. He builds up his stronghold little by little. Okay? So that when he's about to be confronted, he can harass the person so much that he gives up. I don't believe in the power of God. And I am always harassed. And that is, that is one sign that the person has for a long time give put up a lot of bandages. Tinayagan niya kung maraming spirit ang kumamit sa kanya. Okay? So it's very hard now to get him out of that. Okay? Confession, especially of those sins, and of activities that pray to the open to the demonic. Daily consecration, the most important, uh, how would you call this, uh, weapon the Lord has given us is a devotion to Mama Mary. I cannot uh, say anything more. I think I'm reading my books naman. No? Uh, but uh, without Mama Mary, I would have been dead already no? in the ministry. Okay? And, uh, uh, because of Mama Mary, okay, I'm always, we have cases of Satanist witches, the worst that you can, okay, those very deep into witchcraft, mga manananggal, always with preternatural powers, we have cases of that, but we are not yet, we are not being hurt, okay, precisely because of our devotion to Mama Mary. I've, I've known some deliverance ministers, at least two of them, who entered into spiritual warfare without any devotion really to Mama Mary. They were dead. They died in the midst. So I warn, I tell people, don't just enter this ministry. Right? Make sure that it is, first and foremost, a call of the Lord. Right? Because if it is a call of the Lord, then the Lord will protect you. If you're being harassed left and right, means there's something wrong. But it doesn't mean that we cannot apply these things to our own family. Yung sinasabi ko is, I go around praying over people. But with your own family, your own business, your own, uh, uh, your own self, you can use this, all of this. You know, the sacramentals, the pray prayers of the liberals, etc. Okay? No problem yan. Okay? No problem. 